Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make wireless hand gesture controlled mechanum wheels car using ESP32 module. The idea behind this car is to read the hand tilt angles using MPU6050 gyro module and send this data to control the car. Based on these angle values, car speed and direction will be controlled using L298 and motor driver module. Transmitter and receiver ESP32 modules will communicate using ESP now protocol. So let's get started and make this car. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below below and press bell icon to get latest updates. Let's first make the transmitter. We will need ESP32 module, MPU6050 module, 5V DC supply or any power bank, breadboard and few jumper wires. Let's make a connection as per circuit diagram for transmitter. First mount ESP32 on breadboard. Now mount MPU6050 in this position. This will be front position. If you tilt in this direction then the values will be Y axis. If you tilt in this direction then the values will be X axis. If you tilt in this direction then the values will be given by Z axis values. Now connect the MPU6050 to ESP32 pins as per table. First we need to get the MAC address of receiver ESP32 module. For that we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. Now connect receiver ESP32 board to laptop and upload this get MAC address code. Select ESP32 ruler module and port. Hit upload. Once uploaded, open serial monitor and press enable button on ESP32. You can see that the MAC address is printed. Note down this address. Let's take a look at receiver code now. First you need to download and install the i2c dev and mpu6050 library. For that download the zip folder from the link provided in the description below. Open the downloaded folder and go inside Arduino folder. From here copy the i2c dev and mpu6050 folder and paste it inside library folder where you have all your Arduino sketches. Inside transmitter code first we need to include the ESP now and Wi-Fi library. Then we need to include the i2c dev and mpu6050 library. We need to create mpu6050 object as mpu. Then we have defined some variables related for mpu6050 handling. Keep it as it is. Then we have set the receiver MAC address as found in previous step. We have defined packet data structure to send data. We have defined on data send callback function which will be called when data is sent using ESP now protocol. We have defined setup MPU function which takes care of setting MPU and automatic calibration of it. Don't make any changes in this function. Inside setup function initialize the ESP now. Now register the callback function. Then we need to set up the receiver peer info and add it to ESP now. Then call setup MPU function to set up MPU. Inside loop function we read the values from MPU6050 module. YPR is array which gives angle values. Index 0 gives Z axis value, index 1 gives Y axis value and index 2 gives X axis angles. The angle values will vary from minus 90 to 90. We will map it to 0 to 254 so 127 becomes the center value. Now we will send the data through ESP now using ESP now send function. We will add some delay for data to be sent. The code link is provided in the description below. You can upload it directly. Connect transmitter ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 ruler module and port. Hit upload. Now let's take a look at receiver. We will need 4WD car kit. This car kit comes with car chassis, 4 TT gear motors, 4 mechanum wheels. We have R type and L type wheels, connectors and screws. We will also need ESP32 module. 2 L298 and motor driver modules, 7 to 12 volt DC rechargeable battery, in our case LiPo 2S battery, double sided tape and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the car now. First let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all 4 motors on car chassis using connectors and screws. Thank you. 
Now attach both the car chassis plates using screws and make sure that it is tightened properly so that we don't have any loose part. Attach L2 nanotan motor driver modules on car chassis using double sided tape. This is what car looks like from the top view. As shown we have four motors as front right, back right, front left and back left motors. We will control two back side motors with back side L2 nanotan motor driver module and two front side motors with front side motor driver module. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect gear motors to L2 nanotan motor driver module. Back side motors will be connected to back side motor driver module. Front side motors will be connected to front side motor driver module. Fix ESP32 module on car chassis using double sided tape. Now connect back L2 nanotan motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Now connect front L2 nanotan motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Attach DC battery power connectors to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. We will take plus 5 volt and ground from back L2 nanotan motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5 volt and ground pin. Attach wheels to car now. Let's take a look at receiver code now. We need to include the ESP now and Wi-Fi library. Then we have defined the values for car movement. Then we have defined the four motor numbers. We have created a structure to store in one, in two and enable pins for each motor control. Then we have created a vector which is array called motor pins to store the pins for all four motors. You can change the pins if you want to use other pins. We have defined max motor speed as 200. Its max value can be 255. You can change this as per your need. We have set the PWM frequency and resolution for the speed. We have set the signal timeout as 1000 milliseconds. We have created packet data structure to store the received values. We have on data receive callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives data. Inside this function we will call process car movement function to move the car accordingly. Then we have created process car movement function which takes command for car movement as argument. It will move the car based on commands like forward, backward, left, right etc. We have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and speed as arguments. It will rotate motor in forward or backward direction. We have created setup pin mode function to set the motor pins as output. Also set the PWM channel for speed. Initially stop all the motors. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then init ESP now. It will set up on data receive callback function. Inside loop function we will check if signal is timed out. If no data is received within 1 second then we will stop all the motors. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now connect battery to car. Now provide 5 volt supply using power bank and USB cable. Keep it flat for 5 to 6 seconds for calibration. That's it. Let's see how it works.
वी नीड टू रिमेम्बर फॉलोइंग पॉइंट वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर पावर सप्लाई टू दिस कार प्लीज यूज रिचार्जेबल बैटरी ओनली Keep transmitter on flat surface and then only provide power. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.